Oh, hello! Today I'm gonna talk to you about my Dungeon Master setup and how I use music in D&D. I've been asked quite a few times how I use music and sound in my games. I never thought this topic was worth a discussion, because it's a simple question with a simple answer, but people keep asking me, both in real life and in comment sections of my videos, so I've decided to make a video not only about music, but also to kind of show you my setup. Because music and sound is just one part of it. I always use music in my games, and I'm sure a lot of you do. I love music not only because I'm a musician and a composer, but because I think it's a really important part of engaging you in the story. But anyway, let's first have a look at what I have here behind the DM screen. What's behind Fulcar's DM screen? Water. Dice. Avocado notebook and pen. A cat. Umber Hulk. MIDI keyboard. Laptop. Wait, what? This is not what you're thinking. I can explain that. No, it's not like that. We'll get there in a moment. So yeah, obviously, a set of dice, a lot of the times I would actually use an app, you know, to save time, especially uh, during those sessions when you have a lot of combat and, you know, a ton of uh, damage dice. Any sort of liquid to keep your voice going. Miniatures is probably one of those things that you actually want to hide from your players. Otherwise, the DM screen is just there for the tips. Any sort of notebook, but preferably a cute one, you know, to keep track of HP and important decisions that your players make. Now, the laptop is the absolute core of my DMing, because I use it for quite a few things. First of all, Google Docs, where I keep track of uh, all my campaigns, I make notes before session, like here, you know, random names, random loot, uh, some story hooks. And as you can see, I have several tabs here, uh, which I can very effectively switch between during the session. Stat blocks, ready to go. Rules, I usually use D&D Beyond lately, because books, you know, where would you fit books? And then, as you can see, my laptop is connected via HDMI to the television, where I show pictures to my players. I usually have a little folder with prepared images for the session, places, towns, um, monsters. And I would set it as a wallpaper every time so that it duplicates on the television and players won't have to see any, any image viewer interface. Now, HDMI is not only useful for images, but for sound too. So I can turn on music on my laptop and everybody will hear it because laptop speakers are crap. So now we've come to music. Let me set this up. So the most simple of setups is where I'll have two tabs of YouTube ready to go. One with ambient music, such as my Hour of Fantasy RPG music by Folker at Silver String that you can find on my channel. And whenever the party engages in a combat, I would just switch to the next tab and hit the button and the combat music will play. I mean, that is simple as that. But Folker, what do you need the MIDI keyboard for? Excellent question, young viewer. This is for those days when I have a whole bunch of free time so that I would actually spend it setting up an entire project on this thing. Now, obviously, if you're not a musician, this would be a weird investment, you know, to buy a piece of gear specifically to press a couple of buttons several times during a game night. But let, let me at least show you how it works. So this thing right here is called Launch Key Mini by Novation, and it's basically a MIDI controller. It comes with a program called Ableton Live, which is a digital audio workstation, um, used by musicians to perform electronic music live and to compose as well. But isn't Dungeons & Dragons a tiny bit of a performance by itself? So this project right here I used for an alien RPG game. I thought it would be a really nice touch for a horror game to have a little extra layer of sensations in form of sound effects. So here's how it works. When you press a certain button you would hear a distant scream, for instance. Or a burst of a pulse rifle. <laughs> You can regulate vo the volume, all kinds of parameters that you program beforehand in this software. You can even start and transition between music pieces, similarly to the way you would do it on YouTube, but right at your fingertips. Ambience, distant combat sounds, a dragon roar. Actually, a xenomorph, but whatever. And I gotta say, this tool has created moments that would otherwise be unavailable. For example, in that alien session, my players were in an abandoned complex arguing about something for quite a while. And instead of telling them, hey, it's dangerous out here, you better move, I made this. 
And the change in their faces was completely worth all the time I've spent uh, setting this up. So I guess this is it for today. Hope you found this video in at least interesting, if not useful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.